Co-Politikin. We get busy. Busy, 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 busy. Corner store philosophy, wine prophets who probably felt the greatest hide and chased that dragon into poverty. Inherited a lower self-esteem and a lack of knowledge. Got they refund checks and turn they back to college. Who needs a degree to survive in these streets? Weather 400 degrees, juveniles chasing dreams. Hustling harder for smaller returns. They call it life shit. We live and we learn. What's up, world? It's JP1, a.k.a. Jackpot the Chosen One, representing Detroit to the fullest. Right now, you politicking with Poe on Poe Politicking. Let's get it. All the right the people join together and unify. Take back our families and children, multiply. Show them how to live to the standard we died for. Teach them by God, put them first and ride for them. The devil been busy and he using the media. Destroying your mind, don't feed out the evil, bro. The story been told in the Bible, don't bite the out. See, our life matter, we just tired for being black. We way much more than the shit they broadcast. We just get dough, feed the family, and live laughing. Some work nine to five, the other has still trapping. Some treat our sister like queen, other disrespect them. Our women got to prove to our men they more than set in order to get respect. The sister respect itself. We all get in situations way we do what we got to do. But change it good, don't let the world throw you through the loop. And yeah, I'm representing Columbia, Mississippi. Mr. Trio, it's a mall. And I'm politicking with my boy Poe on Poe Politicking. I've journeyed for miles with various styles. Before I was born, I was made to be a dangerous child. But as a man, I've evolved. Mercenary techniques turned a young geek into that of a god. Rap was never that hard. I bring terror to squads. Competition getting flipped like a deck of some cards. So swift but so sick, what I'm spitting is mightier. My pen is nausea to your heaviest sword. So bring your illest crew plus an extra two. You won't return like a library book that's overdue. The game is full of parasites, vultures, and leeches, so I spit the fireworks that'll blow them to pieces. It's the soul dragon, Malcolm Dwayne, coming straight up out of Nashville, and I'm politicking with the homie Poe on Poe Politicking Radio. Soul. PoePolitikin.com. Welcome back to PoePolitikin.com, your home for self help meets hip hop. Make sure you download our app. Like, comment, subscribe to this interview. I'm now Paul Ticker with my homie, No One MC. How you doing, bro? How you living, man? I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm doing wonderful. So break down the name, No One MC. No One MC. Yeah, I. Uh, it was no one, but uh, searchability issues, you know, you can't really find no one. You type in no one, it comes up uh, Alicia Keys, you know. So uh, I just like, probably like a year ago, well, right when I dropped this new stuff, it was... Um, I was like, all right, I need something that you could find, so I switched it up. So just so um, so you could find it. But yeah, it's always been no one. Been doing no one for a while, doing shows and stuff. But all right, then talk yeah. about your your hometown, where you're from. I'm uh, from Oceanside, California, born and raised. So how were they growing up in Oceanside? Uh, it was cool, man. I went to uh, went to San Luis Rey, Jefferson. But uh, yeah, uh, just typical typical stuff, man. You know. How's the hip hop scene out here? Uh, we got a lot of talent, man. We got a lot of good artists out here. Uh, North County scene is coming back. It was uh, it was pretty heavy, like a couple years ago. It was like it was pretty pretty a lot of shows, everything. Uh, Riz Kid Riz was throwing a uh, lyrical schoolyard, bringing out some heavy cast out here. Um, but uh, but now it's kind of I feel like it's coming back again. We got we got a lot of shows coming in and a lot of a lot of artists putting out work. All right, so talk about your background, how you got involved with music, how long you been involved with music. Uh, well, I got I got a degree in uh, recording arts, and I got that I finished that in 2012. But uh, it started out freestyling with um with friends, you know, and just taking it more seriously as I go along. And uh, yeah, then I did that. I went to school for it because that's kind of what I want to do. So I went to Maricosta. Got that, and then um, I was recording people out of my studio. So I, I'm not just a rapper; I, I uh, produced, I uh, I engineer too. So a little side hustle, I engineer on the side and stuff. Was doing that for a while, man, out of my house, out of my little bedroom. And then two years ago, we actually got a uh, studio, not the one we're in here, but a year ago it was uh, another one down the street, and a joint venture with uh, with city to city. So we had a studio over there, but for two years I've been. Uh, and like, you know, what we got here, just, you know, upgrading that, trying to just step up every time, every, every time, you know. And then when you say you're an engineer, so what actually does an engineer do? 
uh, mix, master, just record, tracking the vocals. You know, um, yeah, just run the run the run the gear, Pro Tools. We got we got a booth over here. We got yeah. Right. And then, who are some of your influences? Uh, as far as uh, MC wise or producer wise, you could do both. All right, let's see. I go through phases though, man. Like I like, like I'll listen heavy for a while to like, like I'll go on a common phase where I listen to common for like a, like a long time. Then I then I get off of that and like, I listen to like uh, Vinny Paz, Jedi Mind Tricks, some darker stuff. But um, I would say, I like I like the old Kanye West as far as producing, and then the producer rapper aspect. Um. Gangstar, I like a lot of old '90s hip hop. Um, but yeah, probably MC wise, my be- my biggest influence is uh, Biggie. All right, then describe your style. Uh, man. well, uh, more boom bap, boom bap style as far as the MC. Um, producer side, I could do it all, man. I do like I could uh, flip some soul, I could do some trap, I could do some uh, some boom bap. But my MC side, I'm more of a, yeah, more of that uh, boom bap, boom bap style. MC, what would, you, what would you say makes you unique? Probably, well, um, probably the fact that I could do like so much. I could, I could, I could rap and I could produce, engineer. Uh, I just picked up a uh, video work too, so I'm, I'm getting into like uh, video editing and uh, flyer design too. You know, so. I, just a jack of all trades kind of makes me kind of self sufficient to where I could like kind of I could do it all, so I don't really depend on anybody for for much, you know. If there's some things like for in the album, I'll go to like uh, someone that's really good at for the artwork. Uh, shout out to Crazy Ink, and there's other things, you know, like my boy Santi does really good videos, so um, I work with him a lot. But I think yeah, just the fact that I'm just a self starter and just uh, can do it do. You know, do what I can. You know. Yeah. What's your your favorite song that you came out with? Uh, probably on this new album, it was uh, "Voices in My Head." Probably because it was the most, most deepest one I ever wrote. And uh, yeah, it's just with me. Like it's it's more of like a it's a release. So like after you like when I wrote that song, it was uh, me looking at my life, all the negative, everything negative about it, in the first verse. And the second verse was the same exact thing, but looking at looking at it in a positive view, you know. And what's your favorite line from that song? Let's see. Well, I start out. Um, you must really think you're special, huh? Must think you could really shake these devils, huh? Must forget that your mother was an addict. Your father left your ass the first chance that he had, and so probably, uh, no, I probably. I say in that because <clears throat> because uh, I have a daughter, so but me and the mom aren't aren't too good, so it's kind of like I say the line in there. You had a daughter, but you just like your dad did because you loved the crazy bitch and you just didn't think to rap it, and just kind of like because uh, you know I didn't have a father, so I really want to make sure that I'm there for my daughter, but you know. Sometimes it's not the best relationship with the mother. Mm-hmm. So just the whole understanding of, uh, I used to have a lot of hate for like my father because you know he was never there. But after you become a father yourself and you realize that maybe it's not, it's not always the dad's fault because you know the mom can be a little bit crazy sometimes too. So, but just the understanding of kind of, yeah, just the transition in life and just the way of thinking has changed, you know. And then what are some of your current projects? Uh, well, I just released that one, the uh, Conditional Struggle. And then next I got coming out. Uh, I'm still doing the No One Special stuff. So that's me and my DJ, DJ Special, because we got, we got our group, No One Special. We're working on some stuff there, too. I got uh, another tr- another project with uh, EQP Beats. And then, yeah, I, I kind of want to just keep pushing it out, man. Just project, 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 project. All right. Then what are what are your daily habits? Uh, work, work. So I got a nine to five too. So nine to five, 
time time with the kid and then sessions here. And then when I have time, I'll try to work on some of my own stuff. And what are some of your favorite yeah. books? Oh, man. I'm not really a book reader, but uh, I, I may, uh, I like watch videos. Like, like uh, I watch a lot of Gary Vee, a lot of Curtis King, some uh, financial stuff like stock market information and stuff and just like always uh just like i guess it would be i don't know if it's self-help stuff but just like inspirational stuff but as far as like reading if i'm researching something like uh i'll look it up on google or something and read about it but but like books uh, that's probably what i need to get into man more than that yeah. all right what are some of your interests and hobbies outside of music um uh, Well, there's just so much, man. There's so much because, you know, the, pretty much everything I do is, like, related around music, you know, if it's, if it's uh, like, video work or, you know, other people come in, they record their stuff, so I'm working on their stuff. Uh, but, yeah, as far as hobbies, uh, right now, man, nothing, man. I used to, when I was younger, I used to skateboard. I used to do other stuff, but but now, no, nah, Cause it's all it's all music, family, and uh, work, man. That's it. And then, what are the goals for your career right now? Your top three goals. Um, so we're in a, we're in a nice spot here with the studio. Uh, just kind of maybe get some more upgrades in here in the studio, bigger space. Um, and as far as for the producer side, I'd like to get some good good placements, like work with some artists, and uh, that are like more up upper level. Um, MC just keep keep doing it, man. Uh, I lo- I love when I just like you know I write a new track and it's just like uh, it just it's just a release, you know. There's a it's therapeutic, so I'll keep doing that and finding new ways of of pushing it. That's the only hard part, man. Like I can make songs all day. The hardest part to me is like the marketing, like you know, and that's what I'm trying to figure out as well. All right. What do you see a career five years from now? I don't want to. I don't want to jinx it, you know. But uh, but you know, just a musically a bigger buzz, um, financially better, um, better money coming through in the studio. Maybe where I won't have to work the nine to five anymore. I could just focus on that. Um, more time, more time for my kid. Uh, but yeah, just just keep pushing, and hopefully by then, you know, I don't want to. I don't. I'm not trying to jinx it, but you know, you know, just just more more success, always more success. What advice would you give to a new artist? Um, I would say whatever you can afford to get done, still it. Learn yourself. <laughs> yeah, nah, I agree with you. But but if you can't afford it, like. Go for it. It's it's all about like image and um and quality, man. So if you could pay to get it recorded somewhere nice, go ahead and do that. If you can't, learn your best way to get the best you can. Same with artwork. If you can't do your own artwork, pay somebody if you got the money. Just make sure the quality of everything is, is the best that you can do. And where your studio at? Uh Oceanside. It's on Coast Highway. Right here, uh right Coast here on Coast Where Highway. on Coast Highway? Uh, by Vital Climate Gym, right across the street. Hmm. All right. And how much you charge for your? What's your uh, rates and stuff? Uh, we do forty dollars an hour. All right. So they can come through. How they? How they can contact you? Uh, hit me up on uh, Instagram, Facebook, anything you could hit me up. Where is uh, I am no one MC? Facebook. I don't really mess. With, I have a Twitter, but I don't know how to use it. You know, I know how to use it, but I don't know how to. You know, I guess. I don't know how to make strides with Twitter, so, uh, but I still have it. But you can hit me up anywhere, Facebook. I mean, what would you like to say to all your fans and supporters? Uh, thanks for rocking with me, you know. Um, thank you. And uh, got more coming. All right, man. I want to say thanks for coming through Politics with me. No problem, man. Thank you. Oh, Politicking. We get busy. Busy, busy, busy. This is No One MC, you're listening to Poe Politicking. Yeah, I got a lot of 
got a lot of love I made it through hell, I thank the God above Feeling high, but I don't do a lot of drugs I'm from that old side, so yeah, I know a lot of thugs Walk the streets, you might feel safer if you got a gun Rather catch a fair one like a man, I'm never gonna run Where I'm going only stems from where I'm coming from Yeah, the revolution not televised The television is pollution, only telling lies uh. Them cops are taking hella lies Judge say they're not guilty, the truth don't testify No justice, no peace I don't give a fuck, it's still fuck the police Only trying to live shot dead in the streets The man in the mirror, I don't like what I see Before I change the world, start with the changing of me You ain't gotta love me, but you gotta feel it I know the sky's the limit, I ain't got no ceiling I keep my circle small because we keep it realer You hating on me and I say fuck your feelings You ain't gotta love me, but you gotta feel it I know the sky's the limit, I ain't got no ceilings I keep my circle small because we keep it realer You hating on me and I say fuck your feelings uh, I get a lot, I get a lot of hate But that can break me down, I'm trying to elevate Till the work is done, I got no time for me to celebrate Time is money, if there's no pay, you gotta tell them wait Cause it's already hard as it is Wish I could go back, play in the yard as a kid I'm Still trying to figure it out I hit up the liquor store when all the liquor is out I shouldn't drink like this, but there's no misery now If we can't ride the wave, only the quicker we drown Yo, rapping the present like I'm gifted in style I'm the road to riches, yo, you haven't driven in miles I try to get it to your ride with no edits in it Speak your mind up on the mic, yo, there's no better feeling I'm like John Wilkes in the booth, and yo, I better kill it And you ain't gotta love it, but you gonna feel it You ain't gotta love me, but you gotta feel it I know the sky's the limit, I ain't got no ceilings I keep my circle small because we keep it realer You hating on me and I say fuck your feelings You ain't gotta love me, but you gotta feel it I know the sky's the limit, I ain't got no ceilings I keep my circle small because we keep it realer You hating on me and I say fuck your feelings Thanks for listening to PopePolitikin.com, A self-help meets hip-hop brand if you are an artist or business owner wanting to be featured on popolitikin.com, contact us at popolitikin at gmail.com. That's P-O-P-O-L-I-T-I-C-K-I-N at gmail.com. Or text 760-717-5803. If you're a listener that enjoys the show and wants to support, you can donate to popolitikin.com via paypal.com. Please send donations to popolitikin at gmail.com. Any amount will be helpful in continuing to create quality content and shows. As always, check out popolitikin.com for past episodes. Make sure you subscribe to Popolitikin on iTunes, YouTube, Podomatic, Stitcher Radio, and Google Play. The Popolitikin Show is brought to you by Audible. With over 180,000 titles to choose from, Audible is great for any continuous learner wanting to grow and expand their knowledge and insight. Go to www.audibletrial.com slash PO audio and get an audiobook of your choice free with a 30-day trial. After the trial, your paid membership will begin at $14.95 per month. With your membership, you will receive one credit every month, good for an audiobook on Audible. Cancel before your trial ends and you will not be charged. So go to www.audibletrial.com slash PO Audio and download a free book by Tony Robbins, Grant Cardone, Napoleon Hill, Les Brown, Damon John, and more. Always remember that knowledge is power.